I posted this uh, last month. I said, all I want for Christmas is somebody to remember my December birthday. So Aww. that's, that's oh. all I want for Christmas. And, and they did. <laughs> <laughs> and they did. And, and, and K-Man got another challenge because the year, I mean, a week out of, out of Christmas is right. his birthday. Really? New Year's Day. Everybody's mm-hmm. broke then. New Year's Day. <laughs> New my Year's sister-in-law's Day. birthday is New Year's Eve. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, hey, it's a New party. I know. <laughs> my sister-in-law's is New Year's Eve, and my son's is July 4th. Right. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, nice. I well, tried. Well, I've, I've had, I've, I've, you know, it's, the New Year's birthday thing is just, it's, it's, it's interesting as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> it's right? Because everybody w- wants to party with you, yeah. and then everybody wants to party with you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and then it kind of turns You're like, I'm into, too old for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then it go. turns into. Then your actual birthday is spent <laughs> not in very good condition. <laughs> Trust good point. Hey, that happened any birthday. Everyone's <laughs> trying to sing to you. You're like, stop it, my head. But, Trust me, bake, bacon and birthday cake just you know, it just ain't the same. Oh wow, Ooh. we're talking Lauren Brownlow as we rock with each and every Wednesday. I, I got a I got a request for a birthday. I mean, for a birthday and Christmas present. Okay. How about a jump shot from somebody at Carolina that goes in? How oh, about that? I mean, I'm glad you specified. <laughs> yeah. So, I was yeah. gonna say they got plenty of things. <laughs> Although they what don't is seem... going on? What is going on with Chubb? Yeah, I mean, uh, well, <laughs> it's not good right now. Um, and it obviously gets worse by the fact that yeah. Cole Anthony is going to miss as much time as he's going to miss. There's only one, and I said this before Cole went out too, and, and I think this is still kind of true. There's only one uh, piece of kind of good news, marginally okay news, Give it to me. about this, and it's <laughs> it's that if you, you don't want this to happen ever, so don't get me wrong. But if it, if it's gonna happen, this is probably the best, the best stretch of schedule yeah. that they could have picked for okay. it to happen. That's not the very beginning of the year, right? Because basically. Uh, after the Gonzaga game, which, I mean, you know, like they weren't going to be favored in that game with Cole Anthony, probably. Well, they definitely weren't. Um, they've got a stretch of games that, yeah, they could lose them. I mean, we saw they just lost to Wofford at home. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they they you could argue if Baycott's not 2 of 14, they probably, yeah. they probably right. beat Thank Wofford. You. That's Thank still you. a decent team. So you got a bunch of teams in that same kind of range as Wofford, basically all the way after Gonzaga, right? Basically all the way through January 27th, which he could potentially be back by. So that's my that's my good news, right? <laughs> because basically after that that state game on, on January 27th, and mm. then after Boston College on February 1st, every, almost every game the rest of the way out is, is real tough. Wow. So you want... It, what I'm saying is... It's not good news, but like at least it's this stretch. Yeah. They could potentially weather it. And another piece of potentially okay news is that maybe some of the other guys on this team can develop a little bit of confidence. Ooh. Because they just don't seem to have any right now. Mm. It's hard to make jump shots if you don't believe they're going to go in and you get that energy from them right now. You oh, know, yeah. yeah you, again, we're talking about Brown Lowe. We rock with us each and every Wednesday here on the Sports Show. You know, it's a bad sign when I go on YouTube and try to find out. Christian Killings. That's somebody that I, you know what I was actually going to bring that up, and, yeah. and what I wonder is because this is this is something where <laughs> Carolina Carolina well, needed. Well, y'all well, kill me. I mean, right no, now. I had to go find something. I'm trying to think of something positive. Maybe no, maybe he right can now. shoot. Carolina needed Carolina needed their grad transfers to work out. So far, they haven't zero. Really. Just they, I mean, they weren't going to be Cam Johnson anyway. That wasn't going to happen. Yeah, but, but at the same right, it, it, they, they haven't. Got baby. To be serviceable. So at what best. I what I wonder if, what I wonder because Christian Keelings used to having the ball in his hands a lot. Like that was his role at Charleston Southern. And so I wonder if maybe this isn't a stretch of time where you give it to him a little bit and say, All right, like cook, like do you, like get comfortable. Like right. at this level of college basketball, get some confidence back because it's just hard to see where he fits in right now. It's it, okay. and, and then they've got they got those two freshmen back recently from being hurt. Uh Francis and uh, Harris. Harris, Harris yeah. At least their body at least their body's back to help with the rotation in a way, right? So yeah. throw them in there, see what happens. See if you can't get somebody so, going. Help me understand uh, Pierce, who supposed to be a shop shooter, come from William Mary, and he gets up to the free throw line, doesn't even hit the damn rim. Can can you talk? Okay, this uh-uh. is a general pet peeve with me, right? And okay. by the way, he wasn't okay. He didn't necessarily. This was a curious thing to me with with okay. their grad transfers that they did pick because actually Pierce he had one good year shooting from three, 
But like he was a thirty two point eight percent three point shooter last year. So oh, okay. it's not like mm. yeah. I mean okay. I know we look at it we're like white dude from William yeah, and Mary. That's a, stretch he's four. On, <laughs> he's not there for a reason. No, he was a white dude, I'm like jump shot, three pointer. He was one of the that's better good, that's, a good, for that. That, that's a two point right there. He was one of the better defensive rebounders in the country. <laughs> and rebound. and uh you know, he was a pretty good scorer inside as well, but he, he's actually never been a good free he shot fifty eight percent from the foul line last year. So Ooh. this is not false Ooh. advertising. But that drives me nuts. That's a pet peeve of mine in general is guys yeah. that shoot really well from three and, and then like <laughs> like those guys that you see shoot like 40% from three and like 56% from the f- I'm like, how? <laughs> that is an uncontested yeah. foul shot. I it, agree with that's you like my pet peeve. It drives me nuts. I don't know why it does. But yeah, I mean, that I, yeah, it, that's the thing. I, I you kind of needed. I, I said this yesterday when I was co-hosting with um, Adam mm-hmm. Gold. In a weird way, this Carolina season, <laughs> you're not gonna like this. I know. It reminds me <laughs> a little bit of this coming into this football season with NC State's offense. They needed everything to go right, and nothing did to mm. to like have a good to have a pretty good season. They needed everything to go right. They needed the quarterback to work out. They needed their offensive linemen to keep progressing. They needed to keep everybody healthy because they didn't have any margin for error. Right. That sounds familiar, right? They yeah, needed their grad transfers to work out. Tabari Hines was fine, but he wasn't great. And I think we're seeing that with Carolina and some of their transfers that they got that they brought in too. They needed everything to go well, and so far it's kind of been the opposite. Yeah, mm. it's been, I agree with that. It's been a total opposite, and I don't know. But here's here's my theory. I think tonight is going is going to change. It starts tonight. It starts tonight out in the state of Washington. Well, Gonzaga. What about me? Who's this weekend? Well, <laughs> can we just delay this weekend? Are you just, you see, you're just saying this because it's your birthday, right? It's my birthday. Give, yeah. me, give me a break on my birthday. At least this weekend. Listen, it's not a, this isn't my decision to make. <laughs> I think, team, but I think they're going to play better okay. tonight. I know. This team well, is on the right. It's hard to imagine. They are on pace statistically oh. to like be the worst Carolina offensive team since the 50s. Like shooting wise, scoring wise, all of it. So that's before the three pointer, right? Yeah, that's before the shot clock, <laughs> y'all. And I'm not saying this to pile on. I'm saying it to put in perspective, like what the uphill battle that we're looking. Is that at before right they now. start putting air you know in the ball? You know what I mean? That's before they start putting air in the ball. Oh, they put air in the ball. Did they? Were that's, they still using? That's the back ball? when. Uh, that's back when uh, I, I remember this because I, I I helped write a book about the 1957 Carolina team that went undefeated and won it all. That's back oh. when they used to have a smoking car to go to games. Oh. Like a like a car full of guys that smoked. You gotta be kidding. And a car full of guys that didn't. I'm not even kidding. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, you mean so, like yeah, so, I'm serious. Like so, guys that wanted to smoke in the car so, on the so way to the game. Come on, they would uh, take a smoking car. You mean like on yeah, the they're play, team? They're play. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh like the athletes, they were in a separate the yeah. smoking yeah. car in the night. The ones who wanted to car. smoke. Look at look, That's right. Look. What is smoking cigarettes is a question. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. They were probably smoking those unfiltered, like, right. yeah. the real cigarettes. Nobody thought anything about that back right. then. Exactly. They're out there going, putting Lenny Rosenblum. I, I don't remember if he did or not, but Lenny Rosenblum's out there probably doing that and going out and putting, like, 50 points up. Exactly. And that was the team that did it all, that won it all? Yes. They never. They didn't lose. They, Look, be, they beat Will Chamberlain. But well, there you go. Hey, they did. Time, they did. Time, let me, I'll bet Will oh, Chamberlain smoke did smoke. One. Smoke. But smoke I don't one know. Maybe he did. Hey, yeah. Yeah, taking, a, taking a drag and a timeout. Yeah, yeah, cool. you know. Hold on, hold on, hold it, hold it for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just putting this. It was actually the season after that was the next worst, I think, scoring season that that's been happening since then. Now look, Carolina has played a tougher schedule to this point than probably you know than they'll play here on out a mm-hmm. little bit. Well, mm-hmm. yes and no, right? But they have a nice stretch here. They have an opportunity after Gonzaga. After Stop. Gonzaga, the caveat Stop. is after Gonzaga. Um, <laughs> You know, but even it's it's tough because this is the way you want to schedule if you want to make the tournament, right? But they got they don't have any gimmies though. That's the thing. Like they got UCLA in a neutral court. They got Yale, who's actually ranked thirty or so spots higher in Ken Palm oh, Lord, than UCLA. We're gonna, we're gonna lose to Yale too. Oh, it's at coming. home. Oh, home. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Don't you worry, buddy. The 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 thing about yeah. Yale that helps you out a little bit is that you know obviously they are well coached and stuff, but Carolina is going to have even depleted as they are, they're going to have more talent than Yale. So. Then we got Clemson coming in, and they they gonna change. Oh, Clemson! <laughs> well, there you go. There's a win for Carolina. Well, it, it, it's been a win for for the last eighty years. Oh, I'm not sure. I saw I'm this. Not sure. I saw I'm not this, sure this year. all over Twitter. Everybody's like, "Well, Clemson, here you go. It's your chance, right?" I mean, look, I still maintain that there were two times that it should have happened and didn't happen. <laughs> and I think that the disparity is less wide. Like I basically 2000, was it seven or eight when, when Ty Lawson was out with a broken toe 
and Quentin Thomas was in that game. Do y'all remember that? And it was triple mm-hmm. overtime. So mm-hmm. that was their best. That was their best recent chance. I remember that. And then 2002. I mean that that Carolina team went eight and twenty, and that Carolina team not only won that game mm-hmm. but blew them out. So I'm just saying. So, yeah. So they lose tonight, possibly. Probably. 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 More than likely. They're gonna, they're gonna play better though. I said they're gonna yeah. win. They're gonna play better, Charlie. Um, mm-hmm. um what's his name? Cole. Mm-hmm. Cole um, Anthony. J. Cole's out. J. J. Cole. <laughs> no, it's, it's Cole. Cole Anthony. That's Cole it. Anthony. Cole Anthony. J. Cole's out too. <laughs> J. Cole, I mean, J. Maybe he, he can make a jumper. <laughs> yeah, no, hell, let's get J. Yeah, Cole in there. He has a nice jumper. He does. Yeah. Why are you playing? You say UNC's I practice. Think, I think he's got a year left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so Cole Anthony's out. Mm-hmm. They possibly maybe lose tonight. Then they lose somewhere along the line. They up and down. And they lose to Clemson. That's not happening. Hold on. All think, right, I'm listening. Think about it. I'm they listening. lose to Clemson. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is it time to be thinking? Maybe it's time to go in a new direction. You have got to wait, 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 wait. What are see, you talking this about? This is what he did earlier this week. See, see, came this back, is, is low. Even for you, do you hear that? <laughs> what? Even I mean, for you, you came, maybe came back. This is this is wild I mean, even for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, even for you. I mean, you can't even keep a straight face. Right now. <laughs> At least the Fire Roy Twitter has commitment, man. Like you can't even keep a straight face as you throw this out. Oh, I can't do right. I can't. I can't do the Fire Roy. T- <laughs> but I just. I mean, I, no. but, but you lose the Clemson at home. Yeah. No, I mean that would be. It was funny. And you last in the ACC right now. Well, they're not last in the ACC. No, last not yet. ACC. When this happens, you <laughs> we are ranked number 26 in the top 25. You're not even ranked in the top 25. You're ranked number 26, though. It's too high. You're not ranked in it, and that's too high. Hold on, wait a minute. Too high. Okay, okay. This is not a pity party, okay? Let's let stop it. This is a birthday party. This is okay. a birthday party. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. <Jake>. Nice. <laughs> I got you back. All right. I, was, I went to Reese's right. birthday party, and Roy Williams' retirement was announced. <laughs> Oh my god. This is wild. Oh, we got jokes. This is that. a birthday party. Ooh. Caroline is taking on Gonzaga tonight on the road. They're gonna play unbelievable. Thank you, Jay. Cole Anthony Thank gets you, back Jay, in four to six weeks. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and it's a farewell see? party for Roy. And the win is hey, in the balance. Here's here's I got one for you, girl. Okay, okay, okay. Um They get to be doubted now. Well, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Jeez. All right, that was good. <laughs> Although I don't I, I don't know. To be fair, I don't know that if I were Roy, I would play the nobody believes in us card with this particular no, group right no, now. No. Here's the problem. Roy says it's all no, his fault. No, no, no. They don't believe in Here's the problem. Well that's I mean yeah. his problem. Confidence aside, we're not that talented. I mean we don't seriously with what's left, yeah. No, you what? With no, what's no. left, yeah. What's left? I mean, we're not talented enough. But this is the team. Is. This is the hey, team that he yeah. recruited. My, my, this hey. is the team he put together. I'm just no, really. I'm just. I'm, I'm just hopefully wishing for the time. They've gotten. We can score sixty points. It's in the been game. a combination of no. both of both <laughs> Roy's to. development and and um, like getting a little fortunate. I think that the last few years have worked out the way they've worked out. Um, they've had players that were a little bit more diamonds in the rough recruiting wise, right? That have really de- that really developed over time and, and became really important pieces to what North Carolina mm. wanted to do. Weren't as highly regarded as some of these other guys, like a Theo Pinson and guys yeah. like that, right? Yes. But that just hasn't happened with some of these guys, you know. It's so what you're saying is the last except couple Garrison years, Brooks. The last couple of years go. have truly been just a, outside of when Marcus Payton those guys left. It's really been just luck. And now we're starting to see the fruits of no, what he I really put I, together. I, I literally Man, what said are you it was talking about. I huh? literally you said Kobe it was both. But it's, but it's amazing when, when it's just luck. <laughs> but then we, we like have Luke Mays a walk, you know, Luke Mays a preferred walk on. That's, that, why, that, you know, that's why he's that one of the greatest. That's, 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 that's so why he's one of the greatest coaches to do it. Because you know why? When you got Kenny one, Williams wasn't that highly thought of. You know what I mean? Like he really developed some of these guys and made them important pieces. But you know, so did he not develop these guys? Unlike when you got the number one team in the country. Uh, recruiting the recruiting oh, team in the country oh, every year, oh, and you end up worse than what uh-oh, this guy's here doing. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Right. LB, thank you. It's my damn birthday. Oh, LB, all right, thank you very much. <laughs> you started this. <laughs>